I'm Bo Williams. Governor Lee faces a life or death decision within the next few weeks. Yeah, the State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris Bungar telling us about the first clemency plea before our new governor. All governors call clemency pleas their most daunting decision when they are asked to spare the life of a death row inmate. I don't have to do anything to set my mind or my heart straight because they've been straight for a number of years. Johnny Johnson spoke those words behind glass on Tennessee's death row in 2006. He received the death penalty for suffocating his wife Connie more than 20 years earlier in Memphis. Johnson is the first death row inmate to seek clemency, mercy from Governor Bill Lee, who took office in January. But we certainly know that it's a very serious subject that will require a lot of um, information, a lot of input, a lot of counsel. The 21 page clemency plea before Governor Lee says Johnson's only daughter has forgiven him for killing her mother, his wife. In 2006, Johnson spoke of what he called a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. But I have a peace now because of that relationship that allows me to deal with whatever I have to deal with here. Lee brings a perspective like few governors before him since he has served on the board of a prison ministry called Men of Valor, but the governor is not saying if he'll meet with Don Johnson's daughter as she requested. We're going to start process talking about what that process looks like, meeting who we meet with, who meets with who, and, and who we bring together to make this very important decision. Previous governors here on Capitol Hill have typically made their clemency decision just days before an execution date. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard.